Greetings everyone, this is Kelly Vaughn from Kelly Vaughn Basics back at it again with another video. This video is about rose and lavender water. Um, it's a product of mine that I make myself. It's been around for millions of years, roses and lavender herb plants. Um, it's nothing I made. It's been around for many, many, many years. So. I'm going to give you some uses as to why people would use rose and lavender water. Uh, some of the uses would be for face, hair, beard, uh, skin care, um, a lot of uses, a lot of uses. Um, many also use it as an astringent for skin care, um, after facial, for steams. Um, it's a great moisturizer as well. Um, a lot of people also use it for an after shower, after bath splash, which is really good. I do, I use that as well when I get out of the shower. I, I like to use that as well. Um, it's a great uh, anti-inflammatory. Uh, it reduces redness, skin. Um, it's really, really great. Now with roses, not with, with the rose um, and lavender as well, it's a natural, but this is something that I really like because I'm all about health and wellness here at this channel. And I'm all about um, sleep uh, health. I'm a big proponent in uh, getting a good night's sleep. But with rose water uh, and lavender, but rose in particular I'm speaking about right now, it's really good at reducing anxiety, which is something I really like. So. That's a, um, that's something that I love. So it reduces in, uh, anxiety. That's something I really love. Now, I have some notes for you just in case you're, you're wondering why I'm looking down, that's why. So, a little bit of history about roses. Um, I jotted down some notes here about it. Um, the history of roses dates back over 30 million years ago. Um, <laughs> long time. It's been here a long time. Um, it's also uh, used or some of the first known places of roses uh, or spoken about was in ancient Egypt. Um, they used them for oils, uh, also in food. Uh, they season their food with it. Uh, a lot of medicinal purposes as well and also a symbol of romance so that's why you see a lot of roses or valentine's day it's a symbol of romance it has a history of having um, a symbol of romance so that's always cool and um i'm just going to give you a little bit about the lavender as well lavender has been around also a long time over two thousand years again the ancient egyptians knew a great deal about herbs and um, they too they feed they seasoned it with their food they used it for mummification process as well because of uh, the properties that's in it uh, they used it for perfumes antibiotics and a, and a, and a bisect, um, excuse me antiseptic uh, purposes um, insomnia and they also burned it. They burned the actual lavender to clean the air, which is, of course, something I would love because I make lavender candles. And I always loved the way it made, uh, made the room and energy feel after it was burned. It feels so calm and so at ease. And that's something I promote, which is calmness and um, reduced stress and things of that nature. So lavender has great properties in that. Um, um, also, again, so many different uh, remedies, health and medicinal. Um, what I love about it particularly is the relaxation, um, the relaxation properties of it, what it does, how it makes your body feel how uh, you're reduced, how your, your stress levels are reduced. That's something that I promote. That's something that I live by. That's something that I use. So I would never promote anything that I wouldn't use. So 
lavender and roses and all my products as a matter of fact is something that I use and I use and other people use them as well my family friends uh, customers all that stuff but in particular it's the properties that get me I like the way it makes you feel I like what it promotes so for me the whole relaxation reduce stress is something that I love so that's that now, also, um, in terms of how I make it, I do not have rose and lavender water hanging around the house for sale. <laughs> I do not. Um, I have my own personal rose and lavender water that I make for myself for the house, but I only make it um, when it's ordered because it, it, I don't put any preservatives or anything like that in it. And I only use organic uh, herbs uh, for my lavender and roses. Um, because it should be it shouldn't be anything else used um, when you put anything on your face and your body you take anything in internally it should be organic herbs you should be using uh, for that um, it's good for about one to two weeks after it's made um, it should be kept in the refrigerator because again there's no preservative it should be kept in the refrigerator um, and that's that um, in terms of how it should be handled, how you should have it. Anything over two weeks, even if it's in the refrigerator, I would just discard it just to, um, you know, just to be safe. You know, it, it, it's something that it should be made fresh. So I would say every couple weeks, you know, get yourself another bottle um, just to make sure that everything is fresh. You know, that's how I do it. Well, sometimes I, I go a little over two weeks, but that's me. But I would never tell you guys to do that. So you don't do that. <laughs> but um, yes, uh, one to two weeks, you keep it in the fridge, of course. Uh, don't leave it out. It's good to have it in the fridge. All right. So I'm going to do a live demonstration of my lavender and rose water. So I'm going to show you what I have. I'm going to show you what I have here. So this is, I don't know if you guys can see that, this is the hydrating rose water, I don't know if you can see that, and this is how it looks, so there's some uh, roses inside, just a little bit, but I like to not have that much in there because you want the water, not really exactly the roses. So I don't put too many in there to leave. And what I do in terms of um, putting it on my skin, and I also put it on my hair as well. It's quite apparent that I'm locked. I have a lot of hair. <laughs> Uh, my locks are very long. I've been growing them almost 10 years now. They're almost 10 years old. Um, yeah, I think they're almost 10 years old. Well, I get confused sometimes. My years run all together sometimes. So I'm going to give you a little live demonstration of the rose water. So, so you just spray it all around your hair and face. Take my glasses off so you can see. And face. And it's really good for detangling hair. My niece use it for her daughter's hair um, after she wash it or when she's about to just do it. It's really good at detangling. If you guys can see. Please. And you just let it just dry. Just leave it be. Um, also, I hear a lot of women like to use it um, before their makeup care, before they put on their makeup um, uh, as a, a natural mist, as a natural uh, moisturizer before they put any makeup on. 
um, because it doesn't leave a hard film or anything. It's just very clean. I, I, love, I love the way it feels. Um, also, again, with my lavender water. Now, my lavender water, let me tell you. My niece says it makes her go to sleep. <laughs> she gets sleepy. So I told you about the lavender, you guys. Uh, it's very relaxing. So I, I, you know what? Also, the men really like the lavender because a lot of men don't want to be walking around smelling like no roses. <laughs> so a lot of men like the lavender water to spray in their hair, their skin, their beard. Um, it makes it really soft. Um, it makes it shine. I, I just love my waters. I just love my waters. But my lavender, again, it's really good at reducing anxiety. Again, I put it all over my hair. And for you that haven't noticed, I I do not um, twist my hair often. I said I was going to do a, probably another video um, telling you guys about my hair because I get questions about it. Um, you know, what do I do to it? You know, because I don't do much because I like to semi free form. Um, I don't like a lot of stuff in my hair either. I don't like a lot of products. That's why I use what I use, my products and things like that, because I don't like a lot of stuff in my hair. So, so that's my lavender water, and this is how it looks. There's some lavender in there as well. Again, I don't like to put too much in there, because again, you just want the water. This is much clearer. And again, like I said, refrigerated, one to two weeks, you keep it in the fridge. After that, it's good to uh, get another bottle. Um, again, it's some of my favorites. This is something that I do use every day. Um, I never had a problem with drying or you know, my skin. I do hear some some people, I'm on different blogs and different rooms and groups and things about hair care, and some people, they, you know, I guess it doesn't really work for them, for their hair, um, they're, you know, everyone has different type of hair texture and things of that nature, but um, I don't do that hair typing stuff, so I don't really know, but I, I, don't, I don't get into it, I don't see it to be important for me. But uh, many people do. But for me, I, I have no problems with lavender or rose water in my hair, on my skin, on my body, after a shower, any of that. Um, it makes me feel really good. I feel really clean. Um, I use all natural products, of course. Um, and rose and lavender water is that. So that's something that I would, gra would have gravitated to anyway. In terms of myself and also my customers as well that's something that they love they love um, natural products they don't like a lot of stuff on their body uh, they're very conscious of that but you also want to feel clean um, after you take your shower I mean after you take a shower you always clean well I hope so <laughs> I hope you're clean after you shower and bathe and things of that nature but um, after your shower care and things of that nature, um, lavender and rose water is the way to go. Um, and if you have any other questions, you can send me a message, um, comment down below. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, lavender or rose water, uh, any other uses, um, why I chose it. Uh, you could also just tell your own story of, of your uh, your story of if you used it, you know, how was it, um, did you have any problems, uh, things of that nature. And that's that, you guys. That's my presentation on lavender and rose water. I hope you enjoyed it. 
um, again I'm going to do another video on my hair on hair care and things of that nature what I do with my hair so stay tuned for that and again thank you for joining me here at Kelly Vaughn Basics I am Kelly Vaughn please like and subscribe and have a great day peace and love Mwah.